Hello YouTubers, to celebrate the recent increase of subscribers to my channel I wanted to show you some of the methods I use to power my breadboard projects. So uh, what you see here is a small ATtiny tiny device. Let's see if I can bring it up close. Uh, it's an ATtiny tiny 13 a and it has a small LED. Normally to power it I would use a battery. So let me connect this to the power line. Um, plus goes to plus, minus to minus, and the ATtiny tiny lights up the LED. Since these separate batteries uh, need to be recharged separately, I think it's easier to use a USB uh, power bar, such as uh, one of these. To connect a USB power bar to this project, I use a small USB cable, which has a micro USB on one side. And I combined it with, let me show you that, this uh, small uh, device I made, it basically has a small 2-pin header on one side and the USB connector on the other side. Here I have one of those in unsoldered fashion here. As you can see, and there are five uh, very small pins, but I noticed that the outer two uh, are connected easily to those two pins. So as you can see here, the outer pins align with the two pins of a standard breadboard friendly header. The outer pins of the USB connector are the 5 volt and ground uh, connectors. Okay, so let's try it out. The USB connector easily plugs in. And then it's only a matter of connecting the plus wire to the plus side and the minus wire to the minus side. And as you can see, it kind of blindingly starts to illuminate. You get about uh, 5 volts, uh, which is not necessarily precise. To measure the voltage, you can of course use one of these uh, measuring devices, the USB charger doctor, they are called, and uh, let me check what kind of voltage that one displays, so that's a bit uh, less than 5 volts, um, could also be a bit more, uh, some devices need a bit more precise power management, and for that you can use a voltage regulator, and here you can see it, it's uh, based on the AMS uh, 1117, they are not very efficient. So here you can see uh, this voltage regulator module. So let me show you the output voltage of this regulator. It's about 3.3 uh, volts. And if I move to this pin here, you can see that the input voltage is about 5. And let's compare that uh, to that of the charger doctor, yes, it's exactly the same. This module I made using an HT7333 regulator, which has a much lower voltage drop and hardly uses any power when the device is off. On one side you can see the regulator and the capacitor to smoothen the output. The other side has the input capacitor and a LED with a current limiting resistor. To make this, I looked at the datasheet of this regulator. Here you can see the pinout. A bit further in the datasheet you can find the schematic of an application circuit, which I used to make the mini breadboard module. So let me demonstrate you this mini regulator by sticking it into the breadboard. As you can see here, it lights up again. And uh, let's measure the voltage. The input voltage is uh, shown here. And the output voltage is shown here. The voltage drop is slightly less. And that is particularly handy when you want to power your project from a solar panel. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to be notified of any next videos. Bye bye and see you next time.